We just got our pictures back from a professional photo shoot that we did. So if you guys don't know, I'm a professional photographer. He's a professional videographer. And so we need professional content. That we do. Yes. And so in this case, it was professional photos. And we are going to take you along our journey for that day that we had them. Yes. And also, you'll notice that I was betrayed by my partner. So I was stabbed in the back in front of my face. <laughs> what? Stabbed in the back? No. No, 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 no. You'll see. You guys are... Okay, you guys have to watch until the very end. Because that's going to show the truth. The truth, okay? Just... I'm going to give you guys like a quick little hint. This is his head. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm saying. I don't have to say anything because the truth. You guys can decide. And tell us below, at the end, what you guys think. Everybody. Good morning. Been up since 4:45 a.m. Driving through snow and ice to get to Denver, Colorado. We are headed to see one of our favorite photographers. Her name is Hian Win. She photographed us a little over a year ago for a new love shoot. Yep. Back when we were in love. We still are. We in are. Love. In love. We are. And we're doing. These are some of the pictures from that shoot. It's actually really fun. So we're doing a different kind of shoot this time. Called the old love shoot. No, 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 this, it's not that old. It's the mature love No, shoot. it's a branding shoot for our business. It and is so a branding shoot. We are doing that because you need content. You need, you need professional pictures. We are professionals. We need to have professional shots of ourselves. That is true. It should be a good time. We're gonna go and get makeup done first. I'm not. <laughs> He's gonna go buy his outfit because he likes to do things. I live my life a quarter mile at a time, so. Yeah. I'm gonna go look for something to wear. He's gonna go find something to wear while I get my makeup done. give a quick shout out to Marisol Garcia. She did my makeup. She did a fantastic job. She's traveled all over the world putting on makeup from people like me to famous people and everything in between. And she is one of those people who's a true manifester. So when she has a dream or a vision for her life, she goes after it. And I super love surrounding myself with people like that. And so I'm going to put her link below check out her work and she does travel all over so she's amazing yeah she really did a great job almost to the point where i almost wanted to get some makeup <laughs> yes exactly oh and by the way i'm happy that you found something to wear i wasn't worried about that because i also am a manifester and so he did and he looks great in all of them thank you have you worn that vest since? Nope, not yet. <laughs> makeup is all done. And doesn't he look so handsome? Mm -hmm. So after I got my makeup done, we headed off to the shoot location. It was really cold and windy that day. I'm glad when she suggested that we take it inside and she took us to her studio. So when we were considering what we wanted to do and hiring this professional for this photo shoot, we had to think about how we wanted to brand our business. What is the perception? that we want our audience to have. And I don't read too far into that because I just really, I know I personally just want us to be ourselves. 
And so far we've done a lot of shoots in front of really colorful places, wearing a lot of contrasty outfits and it's been pretty fun. I like our photographer. Um, I like her style and I think that's important where she didn't have us looking bright and airy. I really liked the style she she did for us. Yeah, she tends to have a little bit of a maybe, I don't know if moody is a feel, but she I like really uh, rich contrasted colors. The great thing is that when we went to our shoot, she is so laid back that it was really like, hey, whatever you guys want, but she was mindful of our brand and she we'd already shot with her before, so we knew what to expect. Yeah, and for me, like, I'm kind of nervous in front of the camera, like right now. And so it took a little while to get a little loose. Now let's show them the shoot. Yes. studio which was pretty cool because then we could have some different feels so we had kind of the professional part at the beginning and then we moved into like a more casual personal we wanted some personal pictures for us too that we could just have like doesn't necessarily need to be for content but just for us so some boudoirs we did not do we did not do boudoir <laughs> some people say boudoir it's boudoir I think that's like boudoir I don't know I'm not French so I'm not French, so I say boudoir. We did not do boudoir. Okay, boudoir. Now you have me saying it that way. Welcome. We did not do boudoir. We had a good time at the shoot. Yeah, we did. It was fun. Yeah. And we had a good time at Park Burger, too. It was delicious. <laughs> it is an old spot in my old hood in Denver where I used to live, and it's really good. It's a really good spot. If you guys are ever there, you should check it out. It is. I really liked it. We like a side of Parmesan truffle fries, and we got a milkshake too. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. It's delicious. We love the pictures. Yeah, she did a really great job. I liked everything about them, the backgrounds, the poses, just the whole atmosphere and the whole studio was really cool. Yeah, we're gonna attach her link too. Even though she's a photographer, there's enough business to go around for all of us, but you should still hire us. Mm -hmm. Hire us. You can hire her too, but hire us first. Hire us. It is super important to find your voice for your business. We are figuring out what our voice is as the Mike and Kim show. I know what the Kim Marks photography voice is. We're trying to figure out what the Mike and Kim show voice is. And so if you guys have an idea or perception or an opinion or a thought on what that might be, comment below. We'd love to hear. I mean, we're only two episodes in, but I'm guessing that- Two strong episodes in. Two, yes. If you haven't, check out our winter shoot right here. That'll give you lots of ideas on how we do different shoots. Mm -hmm. Actually, just the winter shoot. Oh, and check out where my partner stabs me in the back. No, that's not what happened. You guys are about to see. Just watch. Keep watching. See what happens. So we had an amazing time getting photographed by Miss Hian today. Yes, we did. It was fun. <laughs> He's laughing about the hot sauce incident. Well... That we were gonna that we're gonna play let, Laughing let's show a them, little bit. Let's show them the hot sauce incident where he moved he let's, brought it on himself. Let's show them where pour, trust was broken. Pour pour the hot sauce and instead of catching it, what did he do? <laughs> Over here doesn't know how to pour. She 
envisioned that there was some kind of contraption inside the bottle. A suction thing that would have prevented it from like it rolling out been very fast. Yet. Well, is it, isn't it Tabasco that you pour, it comes out slowly? No, it's the core. What? It's the cap that they put on the core. No, but like with the Tabasco bottle, it comes out like drip drip right it yes but you saw that there wasn't one there i didn't know if it was inside like tucked inside the little bottle you know inside <laughs> can you visualize the inside <laughs> you visualized that there wasn't one and you should have said oh shit. anyway i'm pouring it pouring it his mouth is right here i tip it and this is what he does <laughs> okay <laughs> as he moves so it goes all over him you guys saw what happened my life. And it's like what? I'll just go and got and get something. <laughs> yeah, that's how you talk to me. Tell me more. Huh, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, that's how she treats me. Ladies and gentlemen, just lost Walmart the other night. Lost it. Pouting. I had. I'm my not getting down. I'm not getting down at all. Get the. <laughs> Go find your shirt. Uh, that's gonna be stupid. You're stupid. Bring you back an orange juice. <laughs> Love her though. Love your ass.